all good things must come to an end. So must the bad things, thankfully. This is the fourth and final Zuzu Pets DS game I have left to review. All four sent to us by the legendary Felicity from the UK. All four pretty much identical. Not sure if that's mercy or torture. Because frankly, it feels the same. That's right, in case you missed the first three reviews. The holy crap, these games are freaking identical. And it continues right to the end with Zuzu Pets featuring the Wild Bunch. Only with this one, hey, let's add a pointless structure because things were going a little too well, right? So uh, another crazy piece of information here, maybe depressing, in our review of Zuzu Princess, he said that I couldn't believe they released three Zuzu games in less than two years. Just, that's ridiculous. But no, wait, it gets better. Because this one, Zuzu Pets featuring the Wild Bunch, this is actually the second game. So let's update the timeline here. The original Zuzu Pets in March of 2010, this one in October, seven months later, Zuzu Princess in February, only four months later, wrap it all up with Zuzu Babies that November. That's, that's four games. 20 months. There's kicking the dead horse, and there's bashing its face in with a ball-peen hammer. Sure, it's morally and arguably legally questionable behavior, but hey, as long as it sells more hamster games, pass the f***ing hammer! You unlocked a new Zuzu pet! Great job! I'll tell you what though, of all four of these Zuzu games on the Nintendo DS, this is actually the only one that feels different. Although, and not because of the gameplay, it's still the same game at its core. What's different though, is the game structure. Unlike the other games, which are more streamlined, this one's a lot more stupid. How about that? The one, the one thing it does differently ends up making it worse. So obviously, this is another pet game and hamster maze thing. Half the game is nurturing your hamster, and half is shooting it through tubes, like a tennis ball on American Gladiators. Only not really, because that would be fun. About that structure though. So, instead of the mazes just being attached to the hub, they're on a map. Which means you have to go to a location, walk to the level you want to play on the map. And no, it's not an improvement. Anything that just makes it take longer to pick a level is artificially lengthening the game. And especially for a kid's game, that's an unnecessary move. It's not done simply, it's not done intuitively, it's done poopski. Hamster poopski. You know, I've said in each of these reviews that these aren't bad games. This is another decent little kids game. The big problem with these Zuzu games for the DS is that they're all the same game. They, they change something here, add some hamsters there, throw in some new levels, and call it a new game. I mean, there's literally no reason to have any more than one of these. Unless you're Felicity, who has five of everything. Smile tokens are the currency of the Zuzus! Take good care of your Zuzus to earn smile tokens at the end of the day! Yeah, I, I was gonna do a nice little conclusion here, but that, that would be too much effort for a collection of games seemingly made without any. The best one was probably Zuzu Princess, this one's probably the worst. I don't know, I, I kind of blacked out for this little series. If you watched all four, well, thank you. We suffered together. And I think what we've learned today is that that's what Zuzu Pets is all about. Mutual suffering. Mutual suffering and the hamster poop. Drag any of the love objects to your Zuzu to make it especially happy. Each Zuzu has a favorite love object. Try giving them different ones to find out what they like best. 